Hey everyone, this is Dimitri Pergamotic with MarketChameleon.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you could pull up a historical options chain for a particular stock if you're trying to do an analysis on options. And I'm going to use Meta in this example. We're going to scroll down here, and here we have the Meta options chain. On the left-hand side, I did pick the September 15th expiration, and now we see the options chain for that September 15th expiration here. We do have the call options on the left-hand side and the put options on the right-hand side. And before we pull up a historical options chain, what I'm gonna do first is try to pick an option that we'd want to go back and look at. So let's do this. I'm gonna look at the open interest in Meta over here. And here we have the open interest that's associated with the corresponding put. So here are, here are 16,363 contracts open in Meta on the 290 September 15th put. And that looks like to me, just eyeballing it, the highest open interest in the put. So let's first take a look at when this open interest increased by. And I'm gonna click on this volume and it's gonna bring up a ticket that gives me more details on this particular option, the, two nine, the September 290 put, and it automatically populates uh, loading the time and sales for the day. So you can see Meta had a lot of trades today, um, but what we wanna, what we're interested in is when did this open interest increase? So I went down here to the tracking and let's change it to the puts here. And when I go back, we see that there are the open interest kind of stayed above 16,000 for a while. So let's go back here and see if we could find when that open interest increased uh, by a significant amount. It looks to me right here on July 25th, it doubled from 6,000 to over 12,000. So let's go back to this date on the options chain and see if we could figure out what happened that day because it looks like that open interest continued, you know, we, we could see here it even increased um, from then to today. So let's go back July 25th, okay, expiration. I'm going to close this, and this is the option that we're looking at, the 290 put right now, 1305, 1315. And let's go back to July 25th. So I'm going to pull up this calendar here. I'm going to load the month, July, and then we're going to go the 25th. So I'm going to click on that. And when you do that, all the we retrieved uh, the options chain from the July 25th end of day. Okay, and if we scroll down here, you can go back intraday by picking one of these time times. And you could see here from 930, uh, 10 o'clock, 10.30, and this is where the stock price was. So here it looks like this is the 290 strike that we were looking at. You could see there at the at that time, it was 1685.17. A um, couple other things here I'm noticing is that earnings was July 26. You can see here um, we have these indicators. This is, this is, uh, from July 25th, what the options chain looked like. So I'm, I'm seeing that July 26th was earnings. So this happened right before earnings. And here we see the big trade, 6,924 contracts traded that day. And if we click on it, we're again, we're gonna get a time in sales. It automatically pops up with the time in sales for that day. And we could see the trades that happened that day. We could scroll down. We could see some of the big trades over here. So we see that these were multi-leg trades. So we'd have to go and find the other side of the leg. Um, but this allows us to go back in time and analyze any particular open interest or volume or how the trading um, behaved uh, historically so we could get a better understanding of the trading and market dynamics. So hopefully everyone, this was helpful and hope to see you guys in the next video.
Bye.